Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing these 5 amazing tips for creating sheets in Revit or for sheets in Revit. So when working with sheets in Revit, uh, they are quite simple to create but there are some useful tips along the way that you can use to kind of speed up your workflow or to make everything look better. So the tip number one that I'm going to be sharing with you is of course how to create just a simple sheet and also the two ways of approaching placing views on sheets. So two different ways that you can place views on your sheets. Uh, the second tip is going to be all about creating multiple view, multiple sheets. So on large projects, you're always going to be having a lot of sheets. So it's a good idea to have maybe a faster approach so you don't have to create each one manually. So you can create all of them at once and then you can just play around with placing views on those. Then the next step is going to be all about using guide grids. So this is a very useful uh, tool that Revit has to offer and it allows us to basically align all of the sheets in the same way. So for example, on each sheet you'll have, let's say we're having multiple floor plans and you want to have the floor plan sitting in the same place on each sheet because if it's sitting on a, a it's, if it's in a different place on each sheet, it looks kind of unprofessional. So you really want to have that aligned in the same place on each sheet. So uh, Revit has this very useful tool that basically solves that problem. Next, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create custom sheet size. So Revit has some basic uh, sheets on offer, but it's really cool to have a custom sheet size. So I'm going to be sharing that as well. And in the end, we're going to be exporting all of this. So I'm going to be showing you how to export either to a vector format like AutoCAD or PDF or how to export to a bitmap format kind of like JPEG or TIFF or something like that. Or if you have your printer connected, I'm going to show you how to just print it out straight out of Revit. Okay. With that's going to be the tutorial for today. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week. I have multiple tutorials each week. And also each week I have an advanced Revit course. They are all over one hour long. I've got 24 courses out so far. So if you want to check out those, first link in the description of this video, uh, check out my Patreon. There you can get access to all of those courses and also not only the courses but also all of the project files that I use for example like this project file that I'm going to be using for this project so if you take a look here let's just switch to my screen and as you can see over here I have this house this was actually a five hour course where I show you how to create this house so we have a nice 3d view we also have this nice detailed uh, floor plan then also we have this roof room diagram then we have a uh, basically just a section and then also we have an exploded diagram. So let's say we want to place these on sheets. So let's first create the sheet. So for creating sheets, you can either go here to your project browser and find your sheets. And here, as you can see, uh, the menu doesn't really have this little plus sign, as you can see over here. So the sheets menu doesn't have that. But what you have to do is just right click on sheets and then you have the new sheet option. So you just click there and then here you have to choose which uh, basically the dimension of the sheet that you want to use. So for example, let's say you want to use the A0 metric, you just click A0 metric, hit enter, and there we go. So we have here a sheet with a customized title block that I've created for this, uh, for, basically for this project. Now, if you want to learn more about customized uh, title blocks, I, I explained that in that five hour course, but I also have a free tutorial here on YouTube and a link to that will be in the description as well. Okay, so here we have a sheet and now we have to basically place something on that sheet. So uh, you can basically do that by either going over here in the menu and just going to any view. So for example, let's say floor plan and then you can just grab it. Hold on. So click and hold and just drag it over here and place it on screen. And there you go. Now it's placed. So you have that view here on screen. You can also go here to uh, views and then uh, you can go here to view place view just click there and then you have to select which view do you want to place so let's say we want to place I don't know let's try let's search for the section so do we have sections here 
Okay, here we go, section one. I'm just going to go add to add to sheet, and there we go. So now we can place that section. Now, as you can see, it it gives us it offers us to kind of align it down here, so we can do that. And there we go, we have that section. So those are basically the two way, two approaches to placing views on sheets. Now, let's say you want to create multiple sheets. You have a large project with multiple floor plans, many many sections, and many elevations, and you need a lot of sheets. So it would be really slow to always go here and then a sheet, right click and then new sheet and then you do the whole process. Again, the, the way quicker process is to go here and you go to view and here you have your schedules. Now you open up that drop menu and here we have a sheet list. Now this is usually used just to basically give you an idea of how many sheets you have. So you go to your sheet list and then you can maybe do the sheet name and also the sheet number. There we go. Now, of course, you can do maybe the uh, who approved the project or who who drawn it, who designed it. So basically, it's useful to have this sort of a schedule to just uh, keep track of all of the sheets you have and who's responsible for those. But also through this schedule, you can create multiple sheets really quickly. So I'm just going to hit OK here, and here we have a simple schedule, and it only has one sheet. But I can go here and we have the option to insert that row and if I just click on that as you can see we have a new sheet and I can click that really fast and I can very quickly add new sheets. And also here we have this new sheet option and if we just click on that just because uh, as you can see currently we have multiple sheets here but if I go here to sheets and open up the menu we only have the 103. So that's this one A103. We don't have any of these other ones and that's just because Revit doesn't know which uh, which title block or which sheet size to assign to that sheet. So uh, for that we just go here to uh, back to new sheet, we click that and here we select which title block we want to use. So let's say we want to use A0 metric for all of them and then we basically select all of our sheets. So just hold, select the first one, hold the shift key, select the last one, that's it click OK and there we go. So now if I scroll down here to sheets, as you can see, we have a lot of sheets. So as fast as you can click to create new sheets, that's how fast you can create new sheets. Okay, so we have multiple sheets here and let's say so we have this one and as you can see here the floor plan is basically sitting over here in this corner. So let's say we want to basically place this room diagram floor plan pretty much in the same place. So what we can do is for that is to use guide grids. So let's first go to a uh, 103 metric. And once we're here, uh, we can uh, select the sheet and yeah, so for that we need to find the guide grid. So here we have the sheet composition panel. So just go there and here we have guide grid. Select that and you can name it. So for example, this I'm using to align all of my floor plans in the same place. So let's just call it a floor plan guide grid. Okay, so let's just call it like that. Hit OK and there we go. So we have like this trace paper or this blue, very overpowering blue uh, like mesh. And uh, as you can see here we have these drag points so you can actually drag it just like this, these drag dots. So I usually like to drag it within the boundaries like just like this so it's not too overpowering and once uh, this uh, guide grid is selected here you can uh, set up the uh, guide spacing. So in this case it's set up to 25 millimeters. I usually like to go with something like 50 millimeters or even more but let's go with 50. And there we go. Now the point with uh, guide grids is you don't really have to have the whole grid. Uh, usually why you're, you're using these is to align just one point. So we just need this point over here to be aligned on the second sheet once we place the view over here. And let's just drag that room diagram view over here. So we just want to have that same point aligned in the same place on both sheets. So uh, basically you have 
too many of these rectangles. So what I'm actually going to do is set this to 100 millimeters so we have something a lot more simple and then I'm actually going to make this a lot smaller. So I only need basically one crosshair here in this corner and that's going to basically give me all of the information I need about that position. So you can make it you can make this guide grid a lot smaller So let's just select it if you can't select it due to the view just hit your tab key once and then you can select it And then if you go here to the move command and if you select this intersection here as you can see you can move it and it will snap to all of your uh, grids your grid intersections things like that so it will snap to grids uh, reference planes and levels and it won't snap to I don't know dimensions as you can see or floors or anything like that so here I'm just going to snap it here to the intersection of these two grids and there we go so now it basically stays there now we can select it and there we go that's the name and also we can select the sheet and uh, or when nothing is selected on the sheet rather yeah here we have guide, guide grid and this is the one that's selected and if you want to turn it off you just go to none but I actually want to have it turned on so I'm just going to turn it on there and there we go we have that crosshair already adjusted now I'm going to go to the next sheet and here I'm going to go to sheets properties guide grid and check that same one and as you can see this is way out of line so I'm just going to move that view out of the way and then I can actually go move and then select this basically this point of the view and then align it here with the crosshairs and there we go so now I can actually turn this off I don't really need it anymore but the important part is that on both of these floor plans are basically in the same corner so that's really useful okay so let's move on we've covered this let's do custom uh, sheet size so for custom sheet size it's actually very simple when you go here to basically to create a new sheet you can right click new sheet and then you have two options for title blocks but you can load in a new one and then here uh, you can go and you can search for a different one so go to title blocks and okay these are the uh, the imperial ones let's go to metric ones I prefer those title blocks and here we have some options but what you can do is you can basically choose one of these let's go with a four metric and then you can select it go into edit family select the whole outline and then you can actually move it and resize it so you can actually resize your sheet save it load it back in and then use it so that's basically how you how can you get to custom sheets okay uh, let's cancel out of that we don't need that one let's not save the changes nope Okay, and let's get rid of that and okay So let's say you're ready to print this out or you're ready to export to PDF So if you want to export to PDF or AutoCAD, there are uh, two basic approaches for that So you go here to file uh, you have your export option You have your CAD formats you go to DWG you go here to next usually you don't have to change any settings You just go to next and there you go you just save as AutoCAD and here you can save which version you want I usually like to save it as an older version just because I don't know who's going to be using the file and which version of AutoCAD they're using so maybe you can save it as AutoCAD 2007 and just save on uh, just save on desktop so let me just cancel out of that so basically that's how you export to AutoCAD how you export to PDF is you go here to file uh, you go to print print and here for the printer name you just choose PDF and then you can of course make some changes so just go to properties or, or go, yeah you go here to setup and then you make sure that you create a corresponding uh, size sheet so this was a zero metric just make sure to go with a zero metric go with the landscape just because this one is already landscape as you can see and that's uh, pretty much it you can change the the quality the colors do you want to have colors do you want grayscale whichever you want you just hit ok and then basically here you choose where you want to save that you just hit save and there you go you export it as a PDF okay and if you want to just print it out just go and go ahead here and you will have your printer available over here so you just choose that one and then you just hit uh, print and there you go you're done
And also one more tip, if you want to export it to JPEG or TIFF or some bitmap format, what you need to do is you need to go here to file, you have your export, then scroll all the way down to images and animation, you have image, then just go to zoom to 100 over here and set the raster image quality to either 200, I actually go with 600 just because it's not that uh, big of a file so it, it won't be bad and here you can either go to current view or if you're exporting multiple uh, multiple sheets you just go here and you basically check each sheet that you want to basically export as a bitmap image so you just go OK uh, nope, I'm not going to save that. And yeah, here you can choose do you want the JPEG, do you want PNG, do you want TIFF, do you want uh, BMP, whichever ver uh, format you want to use. And then here you basically choose the file location where you want to export those images. So let me just cancel out of that. And there you go. Those are my five amazing tips for uh, sheets in Revit. I hope this was uh, very useful. I hope you use these in your future projects. And I hope you have learned something new. If you want more advanced courses, like for example, how to create this advanced house with all of those, uh, all of these floor plans and sections and all of that. If you want to see that, first link in the description to my Patreon. I've got 24 one-hour courses there so far. And also, if you want this uh, Revit project file or any of my other Revit project file, again uh, files, again as I said, go to my Patreon. First link in the description. You can get those there. Okay, I'll be back with another Balkan Architect tutorial in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.